station making history every day. Now, Jake Hartford and John Cass. Ten oh seven, seven past ten. Hour number two of Jake and John. Eighty nine WLS. Your calls five nine one eighty nine hundred, and I'm interested to hear what you guys say of this. Uh, we're of two minds here at this uh, show on reality TV. Jake likes some of it. I find some of it interesting. Some of it not. But one that really fascinated me is a new show coming out on Oxygen Channel. And you won't believe it. It's all my baby's mamas. It involves the rapper Shanti Lowe. Ten of his girlfriends living in a house. Eleven of his kids. His youngest, or his new girlfriend, I think number eleven, is uh, as old as his oldest child. So he has one child with each of the girlfriends? I think, yeah. Okay. One or two... But there's 11, 11 kids, 11 girlfriends, 10 kids. Yeah, at the at the moment of uh, okay. news. So we don't know what what might happen in the next, you know, in the season. Maybe more babies are born. So what's the premise of the show? The premise of the show is that the rapper Shanti Lowe tries to balance paying attention to all 10 girlfriends. Um, there's a senior girlfriend... The oldest one, who handles sort of the boss of the girlfriends, and I guess he tries to be a good father. That's kind of like the old uh, it is, Hef playmate show without kids. That didn't have kids, but it was Hef trying to be the good father slash boyfriend with a bunch of uh, playmates with the, with the blonde twins. I think it was called the or Girls the, Next Door or something. The twin top, or there were, no, there were like six or seven of them. Yeah. Well, I've seen, I've, I listened, there's a video out. There are two things are going on. Number one, understandably, um, African Americans and others, I'm upset with it. it. I think it's demeaning. It's uh, racist stereotyping. And there's a petition out um, denouncing it and demanding that Oxygen not run the show. The other thing is that I'm wondering if do you ever hear of Step and Fetch It? That is, you're going back in history now, John. Right. Step and Fetch It is a character that was created in the 19, in vaudeville times and then later on showed up on uh, in old movies. It was a demeaning stereotype of, black, of a black man created by a guy who was really a good artist but couldn't get a chance. The only way he could get make a living is to play the stereotype. And Step and Fetch It became, in the civil rights era, uh, ridiculed by civil rights activists as evidence of collusion and stereotyping. And now I'm wondering if Mr. Sh rapper Shanti Lowe, with his 11 girlfriends or 10 girlfriends, 11 kids, uh, is the new Step and Fetch It. Well, does he act is he black? He, they're all African American. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are those actually his kids? Uh, they're his children. Are those all his girlfriends? They're all his girlfriends. So what is the problem? The issue is that, for me, well, the problem is it disrespects uh, women. It also disrespects the whole idea of what a father is. Um, this is not a Mormon issue on the, in, in this show. We have 500 kids, 500 people killed in Chicago last year. Is he promoting gun violence on his his show? No, it's, okay. it's a almost, but it's bad because what what is the one what is the great commonality in most of the five hundred shooters and victims? They're young males, African American, Latino, growing up with single uh, mothers or grandmothers, and so they don't have a real family or a father around to say no. And I think that this pathology is dangerous. And what I'm seeing here um, on this show bothers me. I wonder if we could take a call. Uh, Dan and Glen Allen. Good morning, Dan. 
Hi, John. I read your article this morning. Um, and at first I agreed with you, but now I'm kind of disagreeing you cause, with you because you're saying that this is stereotyping the African-American community, but, but really it's reflecting what's going on, in a sense. And I think for a lot of people, especially white Americans who aren't exposed to this, this could be educational. Excuse my baby in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, I only have one. <laughs> um, Are you married, Dan? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. Dan, I know that. I know that. What I wrote in the column today is what the difference between Step and Fetch It. Step and Fetch It was a fictional character, and what's bothersome about this is that there are elements of reality in this stupid TV reality show, which mm -hmm. is the pathology of many cho many people having. Women, particularly having you know sing, single, 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 single moms raising kids, and anything that promotes that to me is well, demeaning is, is, and dangerous. Is, 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 does art promote? Well, in a sense, sometimes it does, but also it reflects. You know, it, yes, it, 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 not which not is for, why people are upset about it. Right, right, for, for, exactly. So you're you, you so, so you can't, in, in a sense, promote some kind of Bill Cosby unreality when this is really what's happening. You know, a lot of people. Unexposed kids in my community might say, "Why are there so many blacks in welfare?" And this kind of shows why, because the fathers aren't stepping up. Well, I mean, this, this well, guy, the, this guy's a little different in that apparently he's taking care of all his kids for for the show. But listen, there are the problem is that there are fathers who do care. African Americans, Latinos, they do fight, and the families do fight to stay together, and they're under assault by their government. By social policy, by a variety of things, poverty. Okay, I, I understand and I that. Think, and what I, I think I is that... You, I have to tell you, I hear so many excuses. I am tired of the excuses. Hey, Dan, do you think... Are you casting, putting me in a position of casting me as some kind of liberal bleeding heart? Well, are you really not, no, doing no, that? I think you buy into an element of it. No, um, I'm not, Dan. I'm saying that this is an offensive, demeaning program that lowers the bar. In your opinion? Yeah, that's what I do for a living. It's my opinion. And Dan might have a different opinion. I thank you for calling, Dan. Thank you, Dan. But it is your opinion. I mean, where are you? Don't with the, you have an where, opinion? Where are you with the redneck shows? I'm again. The I'm I'm just as against the redneck shows that, um, like that Jersey Shore, for example. Okay, no, that's not redneck. That's Italian. My wife's Italian. She saw five minutes of it. She said, "Turn this crap off." Uh, the redneck shows make he'll make. Uh, Rural people look like stupid drunks. And I think that all of it... So what's wrong with just letting the marketplace decide? It, that's good. Let the marketplace decide. If they, people want to watch, they watch. If they don't want to watch, well, they don't watch. What's wrong with me Being the censor? That, being the big censor? I'm not the big censor, Jake. All I'm saying is, years ago, people paid quarters to watch geeks bite the heads off chickens. And it made them feel better because they went to the circus to watch the geek show which was the first part of the freak show. Well, it wasn't good for the chickens. It's 10.15, time for traffic on the fives with Dave Stewart on 89 WLS. 10.16, uh, 591-8900 is the phone number. Talking about uh, John's column on page two of the Chicago Tribune today. Let's go to Kathleen in the car. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning. I love you guys so much. I sleep with a transistor radio, so I never miss a thing on WLS. Anyway, I want to get in and talk about this war on the black family. I want to know where are the people and when are the people going to stand up and say, enough, we do not bring people up by showcasing human degradation, poor choices, and glorifying it. I want to know where are the people who are going to advocate for dads marrying one woman and taking care of kids. I want to know who's going to speak to that. You know, I've heard Bill Cosby talk about it, but not much else. And it's sad. Yeah. You know, so I think it's sad. This is going to feed right into our culture's desire, especially among the young people, for notoriety. And what are we doing them? We're doing them wrong by showing them that if you just do it weird enough, you can have your fifteen minutes of fame. Or what I about? Sad. Thanks, Kathleen. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Naperville, Marty. Good morning, Marty. Hi, guys. Great show today. What, you didn't like yesterday's show? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was wrong with yesterday's show, Marty? <laughs> They're all great. Okay. Yesterday's one, two, one, three. Today's one, three, one, three. So let's, let's stay on the, uh, you know, let's, let's stay 
I'm hope we get some good luck today. Pay, Plus, pay it forward with your why, kindness. Why is this an African American male problem when there's ten women that fathered that that had babies with this guy that are all on TV? I don't think it's a male. I think it's a cultural problem. It, you, we see it in many different communities. White people are having out of wedlock births as well. That number's increasing. What we know is that families with a mom and dad uh, stand a better chance of raising kids that don't get shot. Okay, right, but Marty? Guys, I mean, from, from the minute you started this segment, you said it's an African American male problem, and that's what this is what people have a problem with. No, I think people have a problem with the stereotype, and maybe. I misspoke just talking about males when, in fact, this is the kind of show, these reality shows show the worst in us, not oh, the absolutely. best in us. I know, I've, I've never watched a reality show in my life. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. They're, but, yeah, they're ridiculous. But, you know, I, I just don't get why, you know, this guy is, you know, everybody's making money on this. Like, it, you know, the reason they do it is to make money. Sure. Nobody's doing this to help the situation. They're not taking you know, donations or anything to help any any causes or anything. It's just it's just a money thing. But you know, well, that's what well that's what TV's about. It's a business. You know, dudes, I'd have never known about this thing had you guys not brought it up. So, I mean, I listen to your show all the time, but it's like, you know, why are we even promoting this stuff, man? You know, and thanks, Marty. And I don't think it's just an African American male's problem. I think. Females are involved in it too, and not only I don't know if they're all African American females. Don't you know? No, it's happening it's across the culture. Got Ten kids. Ten women living in the house that he's, you know, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be in that position. So. Thanks, Marty. Uh, it's TV. Yeah. If you buy into it, you buy into it. If you don't, you don't. But it comes into our homes and assaults our... Well, there's a thing. There's this thing called a remote control that changes oh, no, the channel. I know that. You know? I know that. Larry and Joe yet. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, guys. Hey, Larry. I think I gotta force John into watching some moonshiners, cause uh, that drunken tickle—he's the smartest hillbilly on the planet, I believe. Does he talk like Foghorn Leghorn, like that big chicken in the cartoon, or what? No, but they're out in the woods <laughs> making moonshine, and they ain't paying no taxes on it. I think that's the American thing. I believe the moon sh- moonshiners is like is a business show that shows how you conduct the business, how you you go out and you what you scout a location for your business and, and and you set up the security for your business. Yes, and how you sell your product. Correct, Larry. Sure, sure. Without the tax man involved. And how many teeth do they have? Do they usually? Now, see, there you teeth? go. There's the stereotype, John. No, that's There's what I'm saying stereotype. because that's how they're going to sell this no, guy with pit no, bulls no. and what. Not many. That's how they sell it. You know, what are they going to do? I'm Greek-American. What are they going to do? Have, like, a, uh, guys wearing black leather jackets and black uh, T-shirts gambling and smoking? That's the, that'll be the show? I mean, come on. You could pick a stereotype out of every group and sell it. I'm just saying that when it, you, Jake's right. You can turn off the TV. But if you have kids, you also know that TV's on and a commercial comes on. And sometimes the commercials are more, I don't know, abrasive or uh, assaultive than the shows themselves. 1021 back right after this. like me in a ten baby mamas and having kids. I had a lot of girls. They was in love and I probably was too with with them, so you know. And it just happened. Redefining relationships. That's how I would classify it. Or the geek show. Geekland. That's what we're doing. John's column on page two of the Tribune today. Uh, what's the name of the show? It's called uh, All My Baby's Mamas. And when does it start on Oxygen? It's supposed to start this spring, but there's a huge uh, outcry. Uh, there's uh, people running petitions. African Americans upset because it demeans and stereotypes. And we'll see what happens. Uh, Will and Skokie, good morning, Will. Yeah, good morning. I'd, I'd like to disagree with John. This, this argument that, oh, it's just their culture uh, gives it too much. There is no such thing as a culture with this many pathologies. It's something that's developed over time because we have we have basically lowered the bar uh, all, throughout, throughout the entire, you know, American uh, thing. Not I agree with you, American culture. And we lowered the bar to the point where now 
it is it is considered discrimination. It is considered the same as racism to to just judge someone else's behavior as hey, that's not good. Um, you know. So am I racist then for writing this well, column and condemning this guy? Uh, no, not for condemning him, uh, although some people may say so. I mean, you look at the stuff they're talking about with that new uh, movie, uh, Django, with uh, they, they use the N-word so much. Hey, you know, it's just a word. Why give it that much power? But but we've gotten to the point where we can't talk about these things. And the Well, guess what? We're talking about it right now. Yeah, we're, not, we're not talking about it in the way it should be, which is saying that, look... This is a pathology. It's not a culture. And why are we elevating pathologies this high as a cultural thing? It's Actually, that's in the column. I hate oh. to correct you, okay. but that's in the column. Well, I'm sorry I didn't read Okay. That. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Have a good. Bye-bye. Thanks, Will. Uh, next time, read the column first, people. No, no, no. You, you just know, corrected him. A, well, I wanted him to be clear on, uh, I understand this point. Pathology, um, c- commerce. Geek shows, reality show, Honey Boo Boo, Hillbillies from West Virginia, All My Baby's Mamas. It's all the geek show, man. It's all what the about the show. stuff on Channel 11? Any of that the geek show? You mean like Masterpiece Theater? Some of the other stuff, yeah. I'm, I'm asking. You say we're... Well, never I mind. Think, we're, well, we're done. We're done. All right. You bring it up. And we're, then you, we're, we're, done. Well, we're done. It's 1030 time for news weather traffic with Dave Stewart right here in 89 WLS.